start this evening continuing to monitor the flooding situation in and around the Helena Valley. Let's jump right to weather where Curtis is live outside right now near Rossiter Elementary School to bring us the latest. Curtis. Well, good evening, everybody. You can see Rossiter Elementary School here behind me and look at the water here from Sierra Road all the way up to the school. The sandbags protecting, hopefully, the school from water entering. But uh, no kids here in school, no students, no teachers, and no volunteers. The volunteers have been asked to go home. And I've got a kindergarten teacher here, uh, Mrs. Bushimi here. Uh, thank you for taking the time and, and talking to us. Um, no school, shut down, Rossiter Elementary for the rest of the year. Yes, sir. We've um, been relocated and we're going to make the best of the situation. Uh, you were just inside. What, what were you doing? Um, I was grabbing curriculum and lesson plans and supplies that the students are going to need to make an easy transition and make them feel comfortable in the new place we're going to be. Okay, and uh, that new place is Helena Middle School tomorrow for fourth and fifth graders, mm -hmm. K through third grade. Uh, no school until next week, correct? correct. Yeah. And then we're off to college. Yes, we are. We're going to start Monday at Carroll College. Uh, how is that going to work? You know, the details are being worked out and we have um, a parent meeting that's going to happen Thursday night and the teachers are going to be informed on how it's going to look. And so it'll all come together by Monday morning. Nice positive attitude. Yeah, I mean, we're going to figure things out as they go along. Um, but you still, can K through three off here for the rest of the week. You've got work to do though. Yes, the K through three teachers will be at the middle school supporting the four or five teachers and the students that are going to arrive there tomorrow. Okay, uh, anything else you want to say to the parents or the students out there? You know, we would just like to say a big shout out to all the volunteers who was out here sandbagging and helping us move our boxes and packing our cars today in the last couple of days. We just appreciate being in such a great community. Thank okay. you for that. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bushimi. Off to class. Thank you. Uh, a couple of pictures I want to share quickly here outside of Rossiter earlier today. Somebody tried to drive through some floodwaters. This is why you do not uh, drive through floodwaters when you can't see the ground underneath. Look at that truck and we'll talk more about the flooding uh, coming up with uh, meteorologist Katie Alexander in the full forecast a little later on in the show. For now, out at Rossiter Elementary, Curtis Grevenitz, MTN News. Thanks, Curtis.